Hi everyone! In today's video, we are going to be decorating my haunted house. Um, if you haven't seen the live stream where I bought this house and checked out part two of the update, I will leave it in the eye in the corner so that you guys can go check out that video as well. Um, I did a live stream and I played um, games with a lot of you guys and went trick or treating and it was so much fun. So I thought in today's video, I would actually take the time to decorate this haunted house. And as you can see, this is what the haunted house looks like. It is so cool. You have like little bats like flying on the top and stuff. I think that's really cool. And then over here we just have like a little pet thing. And I decided to leave this house like purple because I've been really liking the color purple lately. And around it we are surrounded by these creepy looking trees, which is pretty cool. But yeah, this is what, oh my gosh, look how cool and creepy that looks in the dark. Oh, that is so cool and haunted looking. But anyways, um, before I start, I wanna give you guys a tour of what is inside the um, house so when you walk in you are greeted with like this big room with stairs and stuff that goes all the way upstairs we have this room right here and then we also have this room as well this is probably like a bathroom and then this is probably like a living room or something I don't know I think this one's kind of like a real living room too so maybe that is like a dining room right here we just have the kitchen and how I can tell is by the flooring and then if we go all the way down here this is the basement and this door over here leads out to outside so like the backyard and stuff but yeah, this is like the perfect dungeon room. <laughs> it's so funny. And then if we go all the way upstairs, um, there is going to be a separate bedroom and bathroom. So this will be like my bedroom or something. And then this will be like my bathroom. So as you can see, there's a bunch of new like Halloween wallpapers. And I'm sure there is with flooring too as well. Also guys, this is going to be like a speed build. So I'm going to add music in and it'll be kind of like a montage. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started.
Perfect. Alright guys, so I just finished decorating the inside of my spooky house or my haunted house and it literally took 
like an hour to decorate so we'll see how this goes but if we go on the inside this is the first room that you are greeted with now this is the living room and over here we just have a couch we also have like this table with candy on top and then also a fireplace with a bunch of like decorations a grandfather clock some pumpkins a tombstone skeleton more pumpkins a cauldron a ghost and then we over here we have a little coffin that we can sleep in and take a nap with this little uh skeleton standing in our face and oh my gosh guys i put these giant spiders everywhere in the house because spiders are my worst fear and i really wanted this house to seem really scary above we just have this spider web chandelier it's pretty creative i like it and then also i really like this like glowy fog these little fog thingies it kind of just adds more of like creepy scary-ish vibes to this house so yeah this is the living room now if we go into this room right here this is the dining room and this is kind of just decorated as well as you can see we have a dining table a cupcake on it with a hand and then if we go in here this is kind of just the bathroom now the bathrooms are kind of boring just because i didn't really know what to do much with it but this is a little sink over here and then a toilet and then a shower and then if we go over here all the way upstairs we have more spider webs we have this little like foyer not even a foyer it's like a loft area like, it's kind of just like an extra sitting area i didn't really know what to do with this area as well but i really like these chairs they kind of remind me of like outer space and aliens and it kind of just goes well with this table now that i think of it i kind of wish i changed that green color to like purple because that's kind of what the theme is of this house but it's fine now if we go in here this is my bedroom so we have a mirror over here we have my little closet i really liked putting these light things around the house just because it's like really cool i think it's just, i love lighting in houses and stuff we also have a fireplace in here as well we have a fog smoke thingy and then we just have a bunch of spider webs and look how cute this bed is this bed is so adorable i am sleeping in a giant pumpkin right next to a stew oh my gosh i'm stuck right next to a tombstone of someone who died oh my gosh i am stuck in the ceiling <laughs> Okay, there we go. That worked. Okay, so this is my bedroom. I kind of left the walls like this orange color. And then if we go into my bathroom, we have a little bathtub right here. It's like a little cauldron and we're kind of facing the other way now that I notice it. But yeah, I didn't really know what to do much with the bathrooms. I kind of just put a toilet, a sink, and like a shower or bathtub. And then over here, we just have like a little pumpkin. I really like these pumpkins. Um... I think the pumpkins are so cute so yeah that is upstairs now if we go downstairs to the kitchen um this is what my kitchen looks like we just have a bunch of food items a blood bag more candy this brain juice type of thing and then of course we have to have some pumpkin pie because pumpkin pie is my favorite thing we also have this little dungeon bench along with this witch's brew thingy it's like a witch's brew cauldron what did i just turn on oh my gosh that's how you do it i was like wondering how you turn on those pumpkins i thought they were just plain and bland but i guess that i guess you kind of just have to tap on them to turn the lights on Oh my gosh, stop sitting. Okay, there we go. We have the lights on. Oh my gosh, I can do like a purple pumpkin. How cool is that? I like I love that. So I'm gonna go up here and turn that one on too as well. Cause I had I did put one right here. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that one's on, and then this is all well, my kitchen is um nothing too special. So if we go down to the dungeon, oh my gosh, this one I kind of had to like fill up a lot of space in. I'm going to turn this guy on and then who else do I need to turn on over here? I think that's it. But over here we just have a bunch of like witches cauldrons or something. A bunch of big spiders. We have like these dungeon like bookshelf type of cabinet tree I guess you could say. We have another cauldron. We have a toilet down here and then another coffin. More spider webs. I put a bed down here just in case anybody wanted to chill. I mean this is a really cool spot to chill so why not? Oh my gosh, can you sit on this? Oh, how cute! I thought that was like a little table thing. I guess it's not a table thing. You can, it's like a chair. But yeah, these chairs are pretty cool. I thought since I didn't use it upstairs, I thought I would use it down here in the dungeon. Oh my gosh. <gasps> no, I'm stuck. What is up with me getting stuck everywhere? Okay, so I'm going to turn this one on. And then I think I put one over here too. So this one's red and the other one's purple. <gasps> 
Look how cool that looks. Oh my gosh. Wow. A lot of creepy things going on, but that's Halloween for you. Look how cute this is. I love how this looks. I love the red and the purple. So yeah, that is pretty much my haunted house build. Um, I honestly cannot wait for the Christmas update that they're going to be coming out with. I really love I really just admire Halloween this year. Halloween is usually not my favorite holiday, but this year it kind of just gave me something to look forward to since really I didn't do much over the summer. Honestly, we couldn't really do much this year anyways, so this kind of gives us something to look forward to. But, but yeah, that is going to be it for my haunted house build on Overlook Bay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, to all the new people who subscribe to my channel, welcome. I really hope that you guys like my content. Um, I'm really happy to have you guys here. It makes me so happy and we're growing so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. I forgot I can dance. I'm going to do the floss, but yeah. <laughs> Bye guys.